Hey everyone, this is Paul with At Speed. Uh, doing a quick review on uh, some riding boots today. Taking a look at some Alpine Star Toucan riding boots. So to get started, we'll just uh, take a look at uh, uh, one of the boots. Now, this was my first set of boots I've ever purchased um, riding. My, my first motorcycle was uh, Ducati Multistrada. Um, I didn't go off-road much, but um, a little bit. <clears throat> These uh, were the first set of boots I rode with this uh, with this bike. So they are full uh, full Gore-Tex, very heavy duty. Anybody who uh, who owns a pair or who've tried them on will will contest to very heavy heavy Gore-Tex. Um, they are true to size. I am a size 11, and um, I take a size 11 on these. Uh, they will show you the American sizes when you go to purchase them. Um, they are CE rated, um, which is nice. They are two buckle with a Velcro. They're designed to go either inside or outside the pants. Um, depending on which pants I wore, I've worn these with my leathers. I put the, put the leathers inside. I've worn these with my Gore-Tex pants. Um, I put my Gore-Tex pants on the outside. Um, got some nice features. You open all the way up. It's super, super easy to get your foot in. Nice and comfortable boot. Very, very comfortable. You can take a look. It's got a two buckle system. They fit nice and snug. And to adjust the buckle, it has this, uh, this, uh, this strap. Um, I don't, can't remember what you call the strap, but the strap, it, it's a click strap. It clicks in or it'll click out depending on how tight you want the boot to fit or how loose you want the boot to fit. Um, but these boots um, did me very well for the first, uh, I'd say two, two and a half years of riding. Um, sh to share a quick story with you guys, this left boot looks pretty messed up. That's because I went, uh, well I didn't actually go down, but I got, I got uh, pushed into a guardrail by a car thanks to uh, BMW trying to um, act like he wants to race me, um, cut me off, push me right into a guardrail. I was doing about 45 miles an hour and you could see the uh, the buckle, the lower buckle actually uh, torn into the guardrail along with the side of the boot torn into the guardrail. Um, these boots saved my feet and I can thank Alpine Stars for that. Um, the the Gore-Tex is ripped in a couple different places but the boot is still intact. Um, my right foot had, I'll show you some pictures of my foot. Um, the energy transfer <clears throat> was quite even, so my foot bruised up really badly, swelled up, and I guess you could call it, you know, extensive strains throughout my foot, but no broken bones anywhere on the entire foot. So, you know, this, I can, I can say with, uh, um, with all legitimacy that these boots well, the reason my foot did not break or come off um, onto that guardrail, um, thanks to Alpine Stars. But overall, these are a solid pair of boots. Uh, price range is about 450 US dollars. Uh, I think I got them at Cycle Gear. Um, that was three years ago. They may have gone up three, four percent by now. But um, if you're in the market for an adventure style sport boot that gives you solid armor, Gore-Tex. They're, they're, they're squeaky as hell when you walk. You put these on, don't don't expect to go cat burglar anywhere. You'll squeak like hell, but <clears throat> they're not exactly uh, the lightest boot, but they're not extremely heavy. Um, and they're super comfortable. You can walk down the street for, for miles and miles and miles and not have any pain in your feet. Um, I, that's why I really like them um, doing more of a touring boot. Um, when you go on a tour, you may want to stop and go sightseeing and you walk around for a good half hour. You know, you, you don't, a lot of these boots are designed to be on a bike, not, not on a walk. At least you can actually walk in, they're really nice. So, um, that's about it on these boots. If, uh, if you guys think I missed something or if you want to see more video, more footage, or want more information on these boots, please comment, um, uh, like. Um, give me a review, let us know how we're doing, let us know how this review was, um, or if we missed anything, we'll, we'll post it and we'll answer any questions. Uh, so thanks so much for your time.